uh, global bond yields by some miracle yet again people are dropping here in the United States 10-year yield fell the MMRI down US dollar relative strength lower and what was the outcome a higher stock market it's an incredible thing to watch this guy you we know where it's at we we know where to look we know why we're looking at it where all these other freaks are sitting there <gasps> The Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, the, 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 it's insane to me. You turn on, I don't know any one of them, Fox Business, Bloomberg, CNBC. It's all about the Dow. It's all about the Dow. It's all about the Dow. No, it's not all about the Dow. It's about the debt market. It's about the relative strength of the dollar, uh, the drivers of this freak show of a market. And you will know that. And that's why you and me are going to remain light years ahead of the freaking curve on all this. All right, now with that said, yes, nice rally on Wall Street on the back of what I just covered. Crude oil commodities doing exceedingly well. Gold and silver actually not too much today, about flat. Cryptocurrencies catching a bid towards the end of the day here. Um, that's where we are. But that, that, that's nothing. That is nothing here. I want to cover some economic news with you. Now, I'm going to read this. This is verbatim. This, this is what they want you to know. This is in Greg Manorino. And I want to know, really, after hearing this, <laughs> how many of you are surprised? So, U.S. households have now reached a total debt burden of $16.5 trillion. According to their numbers, this is a 7.5 a 6.5% increase from the previous year. It's obviously more than that. Mortgages, auto loans, and overall debt also went up in the past 12 months. The average U.S. household now owes about 222000 in mortgages per family, 17000 in credit card debt, and 29000 in auto loans. That sound about right to you? I, 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 would, I would be willing to bet. But do you think... For a nanosecond, that this that this is done. No, you know you you know what's going on. What are they doing? They're they've created an environment where people have no choice but to borrow. Um, inflation continues to rise. So speaking of that, we're going to get this big CPI number tomorrow, which we will talk about. Uh, how about this? I'm going to tell you exactly what this inflation report is going to say right now. You want to know? Duh. Inflation continues to rise. Oh, yeah, but they're going to sell this to you. Watch. We already know. They're going to say, okay, people, um, inflation continues to rise, but the pace at which it is rising is slowing. So this is great news. Uh, that's exactly what they're going to do. Inflation continues to rise, just like you and I have been more than well aware of since I don't know how long. It's not going to stop. It's the mechanism. It's the curse of the debt-based economic model. And it's what central banks are working towards. They need to continue to inflate, period. Uh, and that means we're all just pretty much done here. Now, if you recall, and I hope you've been with me for at least a few weeks, well, maybe a few months, because I've been explaining that the banks are in trouble, but actually you're in trouble. Okay, these, the, the banks, uh, why are they in trouble if you're brand new here? Uh, no deposits, no loans, and no deals. Uh, why is this occurring? Well, because our economy on a global scale, we're in a global economic meltdown, but you're not supposed to know that. The only reason or the only thing that's propping all this up and giving the illusion, it's an illusion, this whole thing is an illusion, that things are not really so bad, well, is the fact that debt continues to balloon, personal debt, household debt, consumer debt, all ballooning. Uh, every federal, federal, uh, every, every program you could dream about, think about, fantasize about, is being instituted to continue to balloon global debt. If this mechanism were not in place, this whole thing would look a hell of a lot different. Now, fact is, this whole system is, it's, it's insolvent. It's running out of cash, period, very, very rapidly. You will know that. I've been covering this to the point of nauseam. 
Now, there was a leaked video, and I want you to watch this, okay? In the description of this video, this was being reported by Need to Know. Um, the FDIC, you know, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, um, you're not supposed to see this video. They, it, it got leaked, and it's out there, and it's not getting not even a syllable of coverage from a single mainstream media outlet. Imagine Greg Manorino's shock. Imagine your shock here. So um, I just want to read a few things, and we'll cover cover a little bit more. So, so the the FDIC. Okay, everyone feels all warm and fuzzy. Oh yes, my cash is protected. It's federally insured. Um, how many of you know this? Okay, the FDIC. Uh, just please, for a nanosecond, pay attention to this. The FDIC is insuring roughly nine trillion dollars worth of bank deposits with only 125 billion dollars worth of assets now how does that work nine trillion nine trillion dollars in bank deposits are being guaranteed by 125 billion does that make any sense to you uh, no, because let me explain this to you. If you or I ran an insurance corporation like this or an insurance business where we were trying to insure $9 trillion worth of assets with only $125 billion, well, they would be at our door, we'd be in handcuffs, and you and I would be in, you know, bang you up the rear end uh, prison. Yeah, that's exactly where we would be, but not, not, not this. You see, this is another part of the scheme, the Ponzi that's going on. Um, so, so basically what it comes down to this, and I'm just going to read this to you. The FDIC's Systemic Resolution Advisory Committee, the FDIC's Systemic, let's, let's analyze this, Systemic Resolution Advisory Committee. So what does that tell you? Um, this committee is put together to consider what the outcome may be in a full-on meltdown of the financial system, a systemic resolution advisor. They're trying to figure out solutions. I can't see how they can come up with any solution when only they have $125 billion supposedly insuring $9 trillion worth of assets. All right. So anyway, this, this, this thing here had a meeting in November to discuss how the next market crash would occur and what steps would need to be taken to ensure not everybody tries to pull their cash out of the financial system at the same time. One member of this committee noted that while institutions will soon be able to figure out the dire implications of a financial collapse, this is what they're talking about, the general public should not be made aware because that would lead to unintended consequences. So it's freaking believable, people. The FDIC officials recently discussed how to deal with the next approach, approaching market collapse and hide alarming data from depositors to prevent bank runs now because they don't want people, you know, running, running for the hills here. FDIC, you don't want a huge run on the institutions, and there's going to be. And there's going to be. What has this guy been trying to tell you forever? Get your cash out of these institutions. Leave whatever you have to to pay your bills, but get it out. You know, what did they used to do in the old days? They used to put it under your mattress. See, let me explain this to you. In a full-on collapse of the system, you are going to need some cash in hand. I've been telling people that for years, you need some cash in hand. Stuff it under your freaking mattress, bolt a safe to the floor in your house or something along those lines. Find a safe, bury it in your freaking yard, okay? You wanna, you wanna win, do you wanna take down the financial system or you wanna keep feeding it? You know how you win, you, you, we pull our cash, all of us, we pull our cash because according to the FDIC, there is going to be bank runs. People, let me explain this to you in case, does this, Sometimes things have to be spelled out. This guy, all of us, right here, this is our thing, have discussed, again, right here, how these, the financial institutions, all of them, I don't care what big lofty names they might have, okay? Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, these, these, these institutions are in trouble. And they're in more trouble than you and I even know about, okay? Duh. And the FDIC here is, uh, 
You know, look, this leaked. I'm, I'm going to cu cut this video short here because I want you to watch this. Again, you want to do yourself a favor? Watch this. Again, I'm going to give a big shout out to Need to Know here. They got a, uh, this leaked video and you could hear what these people are saying and you're not supposed to know about it. And I also want to I want to hear from you. Are you. After watching that video, do you, are you at all surprised that there's not been a single word reported in a mainstream newspaper or a publication, uh, not a syllable, CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, Reuters, nothing. It's all been, you know, just covered up. But I'm going to tell you something, and I want you to do this. This video down here, this article from Need to Know, share it. Get it out there before they pull it. They're going to pull it. There's no doubt about it. You're not allowed to know this stuff. Like I always tell you people, nothing, nothing is what it seems to be. All right, this guy here loves you a lot. I mean it. Watch, read the article, watch the video, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I don't really think this is a big surprise here, but um, just this is kind of interesting. There is going to be bank runs right out of the mouth of the FDIC. I'll see you later.